The Trim Curve command, located in the Curve tab Edit Curve group, provides a flexible method of trimming curves and creates an associative feature. The first thing to do is to pick the curve to trim. However, before doing so, it is important to understand that where you pick the curve matters. Where the curve intersects with bounding objects breaks it into regions. There is a selection step in the Trim or Divide pane to define the region but you can infer it when selecting the curve to trim. The radio option below determines whether the region is kept or discarded. Since keep is active, I'll pick this curve where I want it to be kept. There is another adjacent curve which I'll pick as well. Next I'll select the selection step in the bounding object pane. Before picking the bounding objects, think about whether you want to trim those as well. In this case, I do in order to form a closed boundary, so I'll expand the Settings pane and activate Trim Bounding Curves. Other important options to think about is first, Associative, which creates a feature, and Input Curves, which determines what to do with the original curves. With Associative Active, you can't delete or replace the original curves, but you can choose to hide them, which is what I will do. Since I'm now trimming the bounding curves in the same operation, I'll select the first one where I want it to be kept. I want to trim the other side of the string as well, so I'll click Add New Set, then pick the second curve again where I want it to be kept. You can expand the list to view and manage the defined bounding objects. You can also view the defined region by selecting the Select Region Selection step. If necessary, you can select a different region. I'll click Apply to complete the operation. I'll perform another trim, selecting the curves in the upper left to make that a corner as well. Notice the Trim Curve feature is created.